And now, without further delay, Sergeant Major Clark Kent, 16th Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps. Why don't you just uh, sit and kneel being there, Devil Dogs, if you would. Hey, Marines. It is hot out of here, and I'm not planning on keeping you out here long. <laughs> you know, you got to love these devil dogs. But uh, this is the last time you will see me in this uniform. And I tell you, it's truly been an honor and a pri privilege for me to serve with you for the last 35 years. And I can tell you right now, I, I will lead the Marine Corps 9 June with a sense of pride knowing that the Marine Corps is in great shape for the next 200 and some years. Because when I speak about Marines, I get motivated, I get loud, I start spitting. <laughs> and then they say, what is wrong with this guy? I use four letter words sometimes. But Congress understand what Marines do. You know, you don't have to worry about living up to any one legacy anymore because you have created your own legacy over the last 10 years. Because now it's some recruit and some candidate at, o, uh, at uh, OCS that are trying to remember how to talk about you in the future and they getting hazed because they can't get it right about the history that you're making today. Because those same individuals, when they earn that title, they got to live up to your legacy now. But let me squash some rumors for you. First of all, don't worry about it. You will always get your paycheck on the 1st and the 15th, okay? <laughs> Devil dog, don't even worry about that. And straight up, if this bill ain't passed, you're going to affect the Marines, sailors that forward deployed over to combat. They got more things to worry about than worry about if their family will get paid. But we want you to stay in the Marine Corps. Do not get out of the Marine Corps. It doesn't matter if you go from one MOS to another MOS. It doesn't. You're still going to be around your fellow Marines. Him and the Commandant is going to take the Marine Corps to the next two levels over the next four years. And you have no worries, Devil Dog. You're going to be taken care of. You know, like the Commandant Planning Guidance, and one of his priorities in his planning guidance is keeping the faith with Marines, sailors, and families. No matter what it is, family support, pay, housing, BEQ, keeping wounded warriors around the Marine Corps. Every time we go visit a wounded warrior in the hospital, the only thing they asked us, mostly all of them, is to be able to stay in the Marine Corps. And the Commandant has not turned any wounded warrior down. For the corpsmen out there, uh, the docs, the RPs, the chaplains, we truly thank you, you know, for what you do for our corps. He's my neighbor. He lived to the right of me. The Master Chief Petty of the Coast Guard lived to the left of me. And it's the Admiral lived in the front of me. So I'm circled. You know, but that's all right. I got all kind of weapons in my house. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> You know, so he said, man, that's a nice mailbox. He said, I'm going to get a mailbox, something similar to that. I said, okay. It was six feet long. It was shaped like a sub. Had this big old wooden pole on it. And I can tell you, I wouldn't want to be the guy that have to open up that and drop mail in it. They was drinking beer, having a good time. We was just throwing beer cans over in the Master Chief Petty Office in the Navy backyard. <laughs> I should have remembered, watch what I say around Marines. Because as they was getting their drink on, I made a comment. Did y'all see that ugly mailbox that the Master Chief Petty House and Navy have? And they say, yeah, what is that? I said, it's shaped like a sub. And then they say, oh. I said, I just wish that thing would go away. <laughs> the next day, I got up. And when I run PT, I have to run by his house. And you can't miss this mailbox. So I ran by his house, and I had to do a double take because the mailbox was gone. Oh. 
So, you know, I'm, I'm freaking out now. That's a federal offense. So I, I started calling staff NCOs that was there. I said, hey, check around. I want that mailbox back in there. I ran back by his house, and there go the mailbox back in there with the pole and everything. And then I told him the next day, I said, hey, man, did you, mix your, <laughs> did you miss your mailbox yesterday? He said, no, nah, why? I said, that's okay. <laughs> that's the attitude that Marines have. I mean, only a Marine would ever do something like that. You know, only Marines can understand Marines. And you know that. I mean, we could stand there and talk to anybody about the Marine Corps all day. And they could say, yeah, yeah, yeah. But unless they have earned the title and the Eagle Globe and Anchors brand, they hard. They would never know what the Marines do. Uh, we understand you're a musical man and that you do a mean, mean cover of the Temptations. Well, let me, let me tell y'all this. I am a karaoke individual. That's about having fun. You know, Marines should have fun because we work hard and we should have fun doing it. So, yeah, I, you know, I won't say that I'm a, that I can sing any, any better than you. I want to hear some of your sounds. Well, we're here for you today, Sergeant Major, and I was to understand that I was to implore you to, uh, to uh, give us a little something from your Motown track. Well, see, if I had some music, I I'm would sure do we that. Can, we can arrange that, Sergeant Major. <laughs> Turn it up. I got sunshine. That's it. <laughs> gift. We cannot, uh, we cannot give a warrior like Sergeant Major Kent anything less than something highly unique. This is a Roman short sword, and it represents the indomitable spirit that Sergeant Major Kent has had throughout his 35 years of service. What it says is, 16th Sergeant Major of the United States Marine Corps, Carlton W. Kent. Consummate Warrior, presented by the Marines and Sailors of 2nd MEP Forward, RC Southwest, aboard Camp Leatherneck, Afghanistan. You know, the, the, the greatest gift is for me is to be able to serve with great warriors like you. No such thing as old corps, new corps. It is the same Marine Corps. You know, the only thing that I hoped that I have lived up to your standards, Marine Corps is a great organization, the most feared and respected organization in the world. So uh, God bless each and every one of you and Simplified Dallas Marines.